Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to do a quick assembly of this FOSA 250mm carbon fiber drone frame kit guys. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing to create a drone right from the scratch. Also create a custom flight controller to be installed on this drone frame guys. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we can start with assembling of this drone frame guys, let's quickly unbox this and see the content inside. So guys, whenever you purchase this FOSA 250mm carbon fiber drone kit guys, it comes in this anti-static packaging guys. On to the top side guys, here you have the barcode information and the labeling which says FOSA drone frame kit with the screws guys which come included in this package guys. On to the back side guys, it has nothing more than the QR code guys which you can scan using your phone to download the user manual which is also included within this package guys. So that is what it looks like whenever you purchase this. Let's quickly open the package and see the contents inside. So guys as you can see it is a carbon fiber drone frame kit guys which comes with the uh, standoffs and some of the washers and the screws that it came along with apart from the components which comes inside guys it also comes with the user manual which contains the detailed information on how to assemble this drone frame kit guys but in this video guys i will also be telling you how to assemble this so i will not be using this user manual for now so i will keep this aside before we can start with the assembly of this drone frame kit guys let me give you a quick overview of the physical specifications of this drone frame kit guys as you can see guys this arm here is made out of 3 mm thick carbon frame guys so guys it gives the drone frame the strength and the durability so as to be able to hold the motor onto the arm guys really nice and in addition to that guys it has holes for mounting it to the frame in addition to that guys it has other holes so as to be able to mount the accessories onto the drone arm guys which is also something really nice in addition to the arm guys it has several body parts which are made out of 1.5 mm thick carbon frame guys which also is something really nice so as to keep your body light at the same time guys it has wider footprints so as to be able to mount all the components that you need to complete your assembly of this drone guys as you know guys i will be using a custom flight controller guys so it has several holes so as to be able to mount several accessories that i would need which is also something really nice the holes here guys you can see is all m3 holes so it does not have an m2 hole so it cannot take any m2 compatible accessories as of now guys but guys as you can see it is really wide and it is really sturdily built at the same time guys since it is made out of carbon fiber it is really light in addition to that guys this drone frame is compatible with your fpv motor which is 2204 2205 2206 2305 and 2306 these are all types of motor guys that you can install onto this arm of the drone frame which is also really nice because it gives you a wide range of compatibility in addition to that guys if you want to use a standard flight controller it can take an f3 and f4 and f7 flight controller guys with 30 mm stack in addition to the drone frame guys it comes with these m3 screws guys it has m3 12 inch screws which is 17 in quantity and m3 6 inch screws with 20 quantity that is what is included so as to complete the assembly in addition to that guys it comes with a uh, metal screws so as to be able to hold the frame and screws together so as to complete the assembly which is also something really nice in addition to that guys it comes with chromium finish red standoffs so as to be able to hold your top frame and bottom frame together in addition to that guys it has washers so as to be able to install the camera assembly onto this drone frame so these are all the components that came along with it guys it does not include any screwdriver so you will be needing this screwdriver in addition to the drone frame guys so as to complete the assembly so now let's quickly assemble it so guys now let me walk you through on how to assemble this drone frame guys so first thing first guys let me walk you through on what are these components and how do they go together so this bigger plates guys has three components two 
two identical components like this and then one plate like this so this is your top part or the cover of your drone frame guys so that is going to go on to the top and this is your base plate guys as you can see this is symmetrical so it doesn't matter on which side is front and which side is back but on to the top side guys the top cover has four holes on to the top so this is going to be the front side guys and this is going to be the back side of the drone frame so ensure that guys whenever you install this has to be on to the front side so here guys on to the base plate you have four holes on all four side guys so that is where guys your arms will go here you can see guys there are four holes onto the arm but the arms will go between these two plates guys so whenever you install the arms you align the holes and then put the plate onto the top so that is how guys you are going to install the arms so that is how it would look like guys so putting all the four arms in an fashion of x will complete your drone frame so that is how guys you put all the four arms and install the top side cover plate to hold this arms together guys so that is how the arms are going to be installed on to the top side frame guys here you can see these four holes matches with these four holes as well so you need to install it like this this part facing on to the front so this top cover guys is nothing more than the mounting top guys so as to install any accessories that you want to mount it onto the front side of your drone frame so that is what it is used for and it will be held together using the anti-vibration pad that it came with so these are the black rubber washers that it came with so that is going to keep this from moving and it is also going to hold this together onto the top so that is what it is used for so this is your mounting bracket for the accessories that you have and then guys this is your camera frame guys which is going to be installed onto the front side of your drone frame matching these two slits that you have onto the top and there are notches onto this camera mount guys which will go on to these holes like this and then the other part will go on to the matching hole slit that you have on to the drone frame guys so this is the base plate guys only the top side base plate is going to be connected like this on to the top matching on to the slit and the bracket that you have on to the camera frame guys so that is how it is going to go and these v-shaped bracket guys that it came with is nothing more than the elevation that it provides onto the each arm of the drone frame guys like this so that whenever your drone frame sits onto the ground guys it is elevated from the ground so that is how guys it is going to be installed so now let's quickly start with the installation process guys and assemble the drone frame kit quickly so guys to begin with the installation let's first install the standoffs onto the top frame guys so i'll be using this six inch m3 screws to install the eight standoffs that you have it will go on to these holes that you have the eight holes that you have on to the corner guys let's quickly do that so we'll put the standoff like this and tighten it up using the screws so that is what we'll do first put put in the screw onto the holes and then we will tighten this up using the screwdriver so that is what we are going to do for all eight standoffs so this is first and this is the second standoff guys third one and the last one use the standoff and quickly tighten them up So here you can see guys my all eight standoffs are now installed so my top side plate is almost ready but guys before we can finish the top side plate installation guys we need to use these washers to put it onto these holes so here you can see guys these washers are bell shaped guys so there is a top and a bottom and there is a circle on to the center guys so the top side will go inside the first hole guys and the second side will go on to this side guys so that is how you're going to install this plate on to the top side of the drone frame guys so let's quickly do that first install these washers and 
anti vibration pad so that you have it on to the top so that is how you install the anti vibration pad you can see it from the side the first side of this anti vibration pad is now installed on to the top side plate guys the other side will go on to this plate so that is how it is going to be installed let's install all the four so guys as you can see all my rubber pads are now installed we will install the top side plate later guys because we have to install the camera here as well guys so we will do that little later so that you guys can see how the camera is installed so let's keep this aside for now guys let's quickly assemble the base plate so here onto the base plate guys we will be installing the four arms guys like this let's align the holes and put all the four arms like this to assemble that guys we will be using this 12 inch m3 screws guys and then the nuts that came along with this to hold this together so the screws will go from the bottom to the top so that the screw nuts you will be able to tighten it up from inside of the drone frame guys but since it is symmetrical guys for now it doesn't matter so let's quickly put in the arm align the holes and then put the top side plate like this and put in the screws like this onto all four mounting holes guys so as to be able to tighten it up using the nuts from the other side so that is how we are going to install the arm using the 12 inch screws that came along with this so this is how it looks like let's quickly put the nut onto each one of them So guys we have put the nuts as of now they are loose guys we will tighten them up later guys let's first put all four arms and then we will tighten them up together so that is how we are going to do it let's quickly do that ensure that guys for all four arms your nuts are all facing on to the same side of the surface guys otherwise you will have mismatch uh, and you will have difficulty in the maintenance so let's quickly install all four arms so this is the last arm guys let's quickly put the nuts so here you can see guys i have put in all four arms at its place these are all not tightened up guys these are loosely held with the nuts so as to be able to install the arms properly before as you can see guys there is a space in between you can use this space for cable management or placing any other peripherals which you do not need to be exposed and can be sandwiched between these two plates guys so which is also something really nice so let's quickly tighten them up and see how does it look like You can use a plier guys to hold the nuts as sometimes they are slippery so you can hold the nuts like this and then tighten them up from the back side so guys here you can see i have tightened all the nuts and screws to keep the arms at its place guys ensure that guys they are tight enough so that you do not have any loose ends otherwise it will have vibration into your drone frame guys so ensure that guys whenever you assemble the drone frame all the screws and the nuts are tight enough guys so that you avoid any vibration later whenever you install the motors or whenever you fly the drone frame guys in addition to that guys a good build is when you do not have any vibration guys and all the arms and all the components are tight enough to keep your drone secure guys which is also a good practice so now that we have completed the base plate guys the nuts is facing on to the top guys this is the time guys you can decide whether you want to have this nuts on to the bottom or on to the top i like the nuts on to inside guys so as to keep my build from outside clean so that is what i'm going to do so i will keep the nuts on to the inner part of the drone frame guys 
and then guys here you can install the top side bracket like this you can see it has a matching hole onto the bottom guys here onto the front onto its place guys so as to be able to install it this you can install using the m6 screws that it came with guys before we can do that let's put in the camera mount guys so this is your camera mount guys which is also symmetrical guys ensure that these notches match with the cuts that you have on to the bottom side frame and to the top side frame guys so that is how we are going to do it since on to the bottom side guys it is symmetrical so you can use any side to install the camera frame so let's do it on this side guys so ensure that guys these cuts that you have onto the bottom of the camera frame goes on to these frame guys let's quickly install this and then put the frame onto the top guys so that is how you can see guys the notches are matching guys so your camera frame is installed onto the front guys so that is how it will look like guys now guys let's quickly tighten this standoff so as to complete the build so we will do that from the bottom let's put the screws one by one and then align the standoffs Now let's quickly tighten them up using the screwdriver so that they hold at its place. So here you can see guys my drone frame is complete. I have put in the screws and the standoffs are also installed. Now it's time guys to install the mounting bracket onto the top. So we'll follow the same process. So here you can see guys, one of the anti-vibration pads is installed. Let's quickly install all four. So here you can see guys, I have also installed all four anti-vibration pad guys. So this is the mounting bracket for your extra accessories that you want to install on to the top side of this drone frame guys. So that is what it is used for. So this is now complete. So the last part is these V-shaped components guys that is going to go on to the arms. Let's quickly install that too. So all you have to do is put it like this. So these goes on each four arms guys, so as to give an elevation to the drone frame guys. So that is what it is used for. Let's quickly put all four. So that is how you do it. And the last one here. So guys, you can see now your drone frame is elevated using this carbon fiber V-shape elevator guys. As you can see guys, as of now, these elevators are moving. All you need to do is push it towards the drone frame guys so that they are tightened up. So that is how you install this guys. So let's do that for all four arms. So that they are tight and not loose. So guys you can see now these carbon fiber v-shape component guys is not moving and also at the same time giving the elevation to the drone frame guys so this completes the assembly guys in my future videos guys i will also tell you how to install the motor and several other components for making your custom flight controller guys so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos so this concludes this tutorial guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies